Hey, welcome to Mechajiki. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to download and install RenderGuardian. So first, what you want to do is go to www.mechajiki.com forward slash RenderGuardian, and then on the homepage, click on the download link. Here, you'll get two different options. Currently, RenderGuardian supports macOS 10.10 .10 and higher, and Windows 7 and higher. So since I'm on a macOS machine, I'm going to go ahead and click on that link, and we'll already get the download. Go to Show and Finder, and go ahead and double click. So first you're going to be presented with the welcome page for RenderGuardian. Go ahead and hit continue, then continue, then agree. And then here at the actual custom install page, you have various different options. First, by default, RenderGuardian is selected for all CC 2015, 2017, 2018. So what you want to do is just uncheck what you don't plan on using or installing. So in my case, I'm just going to be installing to CC 2018. So I'm just going to uncheck CC 27, 2015. You do also have the option to install manually, and this is for those people who have like custom installations for their scripts, or if they just actually want to be able to move the files themselves. What you could do is actually select this option, and what the Render Garden installer will do is create a Render Garden folder in your applications and store the JSX bin file as well as the Gardener app there as well. So in this case, but I, so in this case, I just want to install the CC 2018, so I'm just actually going to uncheck that. On other machines, say if you have render nodes, you can select Gardener for render nodes only. So by selecting that, you could be able to just install the Gardener app itself without actually installing the JSX bin or the, the script file. And in order to activate that, you just need to uncheck any of these options up here and select that. So in our case, we're actually going to still install to CC 2018, so we're just going to check that. And also we install AE Pesticide as well as our documentation. AE Pesticide is a tool that kills any stuck AE render core processes. This is a known bug with After Effects, so we recommend having this installed so you can run this if you ever see any of those AE render core running in the background that you don't want. Now that we have this all set, we're going to go ahead and hit continue and say install, type in our credentials, and there we go. So I'll just show you exactly where it gets installed to. So we're just going to go to Applications and go up to Render Garden. So here we have our AE Pesticide script as well as our support docs. Now the JSX bin and Gardener app actually get installed into the After Effects script UI panels folder. So we're going to go ahead and drop this down, go to Scripts, Script UI panels. You'll see that we have both the Render Garden Gardener application as well as the Render Garden JSX bin. So what we want to do with this render garden icon, we could either hold down command and drag it up into our finder window, or we could take this guy and drag it on down into our docs. That way we can activate it later if we ever need to launch any more gardeners without going through After Effects. Now that we have render garden installed on a Mac machine, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it on Windows. So let's swipe over to our VMware that we have set up over here. After going to the website and clicking on the download as well as the Windows icon, what we get is this file right here. So we're going to go ahead and double click on that. Say next, accept, next. And then we have all of our options here. Currently, CC 2018 is the only application I have installed right now. So it is actually going to just install directly there. Currently, Render Garden for CC 2017 and 2015 are turned off, and the manual install and Gardener are turned off as well. But if you want to enable any of these, you could just click on here, say entire feature will not be available, and then just select Gardener and say will be installed on local hard drive. But in our case, we just want it to be CC 2018, so we're just going to turn that guy off and turn on this one. And go ahead and hit Next and Install. Say Yes and finish. And there we go. So now if we actually go to our this PC, go to our C drive, program files, and then we'll go to Adobe, Adobe After Effects CC 2018, and we'll go into support files, scripts, script UI panels, and inside here, we have both our renderguard.jsx bin, as well as our gardener.py file. So this is our Python file that will launch more gardeners on your Windows machine. And that about sums up how to actually install RenderGarden and where everything gets installed to on both Mac and Windows. 